All right, we are eight minutes and 38 seconds into the program, which means it's time to talk about whether or not Brock Purdy is a game manager. This time, it's Jerry Rice weighing in. Take a listen. Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy, supposed to be that, uh, I guess, that game manager. That's what they keep saying. But I feel like he's that elite quarterback, and I I think, uh, you know, we have a chance. What? Every time there's a Brock Brady compliment. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to gloat anymore over these elite, awesome yeah. athletes saying Brock Purdy. Elite. What a Super because, Bowl win make Purdy elite. And, and look, you're going to scoff, but I'm consistent. I will say no. And remember, what, what did I say for Bru- Dak? What I, Bru I is said, on the record on this regarding right. Dak. That's my first note. There you yeah, go. I, right. Because I said Dak needs multiple, multiple Super got, Bowls. Yeah. All right. And and here's why I'm saying it. Because it's well done, bro. I, 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 <laughs> he thought he was going to get me. Well, he thought he was going to get me. I didn't me. think I was going to get you, but it was on the board <laughs> that I might get you. And I might have even had the producers pull a piece I'm of tape. I'm surprised you, you, know, guys oh, don't need, you don't even need to run it. Brew, brew covered his I own bases. It, Go ahead. I knew it was coming. Go ahead. Nick, I believe when a God guy is it. elite, yeah. when you're elite, virtually everybody agrees you're yes. elite. Yes. Right? Like, it might not be a full That's 100%. A but it's 90, mid 90, something. It's the old Mad Dog test for are you a Hall of Famer? If you have to think about it, no. That's, that, that's what Mad Dog right. Russo would always say. Like, if you and, have and to think about it, no, you're up. not. But go ahead. I think there's four elite quarterbacks. And oh, you wow. might disagree, but I think uh, Mahomes, obviously, Josh Allen, Burrow, and Lamar. That is exactly right. Now, people right. can bring up playoffs, but we're talking regular season, career. Mm. Those are the four elite guys, and obviously, Burrow has to stay healthy. The, Dak, I, I, we talked about Dak. C.J. Stroud, we got to see it for another year. I mean, we're, we're, it looks like we're on the same page. Now, what I do think about Purdy is if he wins this Super Bowl, I, I think some guys grow into being elite. Mahomes, elite right away. Brady did. Elway, Brady. You know, well, no, Brady, Brady yeah. grew into it. Brady, yes. Montana, Drew Brees. They all grew into sure. being elite. I do believe, if, especially if they win the Super Bowl, but I'm leaning this way whether they win it or not. I think Brock Purdy is going to grow into being elite to where three, four, or five years from now he's just viewed as – an elite a guy. top five quarterback in that yeah, vicinity. Yeah, yeah, in that, yeah. Because yeah, right now he's tier two. I mean, if you have those guys with Mahomes, if you don't want to separate Mahomes. So, yeah, I, I, look, I, you know who else cross, cross sport? Doesn't, not similar in terms of the way they play or anything like that. Is, is Jalen Brunson elite? Oh, my God. Ramsey's <laughs> going to brush the stage. <laughs> we would say no. But he is having yes. a fantastic well, season, the club and he may test. grow. The, right, right. He's superstar. not in club superstar. No. But could Close. he grow? Could, could he, he grow, grow into, into that? Yeah. Possibly. And that's, the, that's where Purdy is. So, okay, so the uh, Brew, well, just brilliantly yeah. done. He I was, appreciate he had every, every little <laughs> uh, no, booby, every little booby <laughs> trap no, set I, for me. I would never. You're my partner. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm disappointed when you flip-flop. This was great. Um, but also, I wrote this down. My elite quarterbacks, Mahomes, Burrow, Lamar, Allen, and then I had dot, dot, dot with question marks with Stafford and C.J. Stroud. as the Stafford, d- And next two guys. But I don't think you can really have Herbert, more elite than, talent. Uh, yeah, but, but not, not there right. yet. And so, so, but here is, so here's what – so, Wilds, I'm so glad you did that. This is actually working out perfectly. <laughs> because everybody knows where I stand on this. Yeah. And on and off the air – I can't figure out where you stand. On what Herb on who Herbert? No, oh. Brock Purdy. Oh yeah. And so I would like to ask you, I'm gonna give you Purdy or for a quarterback. Oh. And just say who you think Pur- like well, do you think Purdy's elite with a Super Bowl win? Can I can I before I answer it and then I'll play the game? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, I understand I have been wrestling with my own inconsistency. <laughs> yeah. Because seated next to Mr. Inconsistency. Oh, excuse me? And Seated next to what? Mr. Consistent. Jesus. Sorry, I was talking about myself. Go ahead. Guys will spit in my I'm face. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And go Brew ahead. is occasionally inconsistent, but a lot of times you've got to look. Because you got to look at the data. I am yeah. a lot. You have to look at analysis. Yeah, cogent analysis. Sometimes I've wrestled with stuff. it. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to get to where I'm at on Brock Purdy. Part of me thinks that Brock Purdy is like an artist who only works, it does one thing. 
You know what I'm saying? You go to a museum and it's like, oh, he can do that. Like, hey, can you paint a portrait? You're like, nah, I don't really do portraits. I gotta yeah. do this kind of thing. And those are there are some great people. Yeah, there. but like, but it, but he's not able to do other stuff. So that's when we play like the trading game. But he won't. He wouldn't do well drawing a well, portrait because he just does his own unique Brock Purdy thing. I think that's, that's awesome. fair. Like I, I as much as I like Purdy, and I, I think yeah. you guys all agree, he's way better than Garoppolo. Yeah, but. I, I'm not totally positive that if he just went to a bad team that he's all he's turning them around and they're going to be great. But it also doesn't great. matter. That's the no, weird it, it part does, of it. It certainly so, doesn't so matter. That's, for so next that year. is where that the it doesn't matter is where we have a fundamental disagreement on how we like to consume, discuss, and think about sports. Okay. I actually think it's what matters the most. <laughs> because I am really fascinated in the ultimate team game with trying to figure out how good individual pieces are because it gives me, in my brain, it's one of the reasons I get so, and we're going to talk Belichick later, mm. I one of the reasons the quarterback wins thing and the count the rings thing going to the NFL is so bothersome for me is because then you're almost tied to the idea that if a coach and a quarterback were together, for, like Brady and Belichick were, they both must end up being the greatest of all time. Because they both have the records. You understand what I mean? Sure. And when even if, and now they both do happen to be they arguably so the greatest of all time. But even if somebody it was 80 20 in one guy's favor, if we're just going to give them both the quarterback wins, the, mm-hmm. the, that, the count the ring stuff. So I am fascinated with the idea of, okay, how good is the guy in this system? But also, how good is he independent of it? How good would someone else be in this system? A guy, you mentioned Justin Herbert. Yeah. I believe, it, to, to the marrow of my bones, that if Justin Herbert had played the last five years in San Francisco, that we might not be talking about it, the Chiefs being the team of the era, that it might be two. Or maybe the Niners would have been overwhelming in the NFC. And that would make us look at Herbert so differently as opposed to a guy who hasn't reached his potential. Systems matter. And so, so that, that's what I was trying to ask you. Yeah. Like, who do you think's better? Not who would you rather. Who do you think's better? I'll give you some names. Brock Purdy or Justin Herbert? I mean, I exactly. Brock Purdy or C.J. Stroud. The Bro- same reason that we like. Well, C.J. Stroud didn't have I all the weapons. I want to see Stroud a little. Oh, Brock yes. Purdy or Jordan Love. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy or Joe Burrow. Well, Joe Burrow. Oh, oh, oh well, I mean, I I'm taking a little college Burrow resume. Burrow had great – you take Burrow, but Burrow's had he, – he emerged when uh, he had Jamar uh, Chase and all these great Burrow's weapons. Burrow's got a well. bunch of great weapons, Joe too. Joe Mixon is a really good let me back. Let me ask one more. Brock Purdy or Jalen Hurts? I so, like Jalen still. Okay, so all right. So but then, that's an argument. So yeah, that's, that's a, a that's legit a, argument. Right, but so the reason I was doing this exercise is because I do feel like – a lot of people who are looked at as Brock Purdy supporters think they are a, a degree off from where I am, which is if you actually put pencil to paper and rank the quarterbacks, which I did the other day, I have him 15th. I think if you did it, you would have him 13th. And yet this goal no, there exists. But, but you know this, Nick, from in your list, and yeah. if probably 6 to 13 – is in flux. Like Jalen Hurts, had he won that Super Bowl last year, and they were close, everybody would have said he's elite. And then look at this year. Like, we're not saying he's elite right now. Now, he may yep. show us he is down the future, but we're not saying that. And that there's other than those four, that, that this is where we're at. Everybody's kind of – so next year the fifth best quarterback might be somebody that's 10th this year. Like I said, to me, Purdy's emerging. You know what's an interesting one for you to think about is Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner, three fantastic years yep. with Mike Martz in St. Louis. And after that, totally fell off. Had the one year in Arizona where they went to the Super Bowl. That's didn't win it. But they were 10 and 7. Yeah, but I He's got a losing record outside of those three years for his still, whole career. The, I think he's in the Hall of Fame. That, so he's I think without that Arizona year, I think his Hall of Fame case would have been really true. Now he had two MVPs. I, even with too. the two 